Hey Pisces, what's going on? It's Ant from Cancer Moon's Tarot. Today we're going to be doing your love reading for the month of April. I just got a new set, a nice little oracle deck. It's called the Psychic Tarot for the Heart. Um, it's really cool. These cards are awesome. The illustrations on them are, are just amazing on them. It's so dope. I like these cards a lot. Um, I'm not going to be using it for the whole reading, but I am going to be using it more so for guidance among those things. And, uh, you know, we'll spread the traditional uh, Rider Waite deck, you know, to see what's going on for Pisces and what Pisces has in store for the future, all right? So what advice, Spirit, what advice does Pisces need to know about going into the month of April, please? What advice does Pisces need to know about? Or what advice do you have for Pisces going into the month of April, please? Pisces in love. Pisces in love. Observe. Wow, okay. So you guys may have your options kind of open here. Basically, it's saying observe your surroundings, observe who you're really with, and see if this is the person that you exactly want to be with. Now, this is for singles as well as people in couples. If you guys are in a relationship, if you're in a relationship with a, per uh, a certain person, observe that person. Observe the relationship. See if there really is love there or if, or if this is the partner you truly want or whoever you're pursuing or if they're pursuing you. Whoever you're dealing with and the opposing energy is, observe them. Sit back and see and really think about it if this is what you want, okay? Besides that, let's get into your love reading, all right? First card is going to be Pisces in love. Second card is who Pisces is dealing with. Third card is the outcome, okay? Ooh. Bad shuffler. My shuffles are not on point today, I can tell you that much. I already got first card. So, first card jumped out in the deck. That's going to be Pisces. You guys have the two of cups you guys could be bringing or reuniting with an ex kind of energy right somebody could be stepping back into your life whatever it is in love though you're going to be uniting with somebody okay second person who's coming towards pisces every card i shuffle always just has to fall and what you guys are bringing are the six of wands and revert or the six of pentacles in reverse so so whoever is coming towards you could be a person that desires you or a person that you desire. Uh, they also could be jealous if you're currently in a relationship with somebody because they want to have the Two of Cups energy with you. Uh, they do want to uh, unite with you, okay? So overall, what I'm kind of sensing here is for you, Pisces, observe the relationships you're in or the people you're talking to and connecting with. And, you know, maybe see if there's something out there better for you. I'm not necessarily sure if there is. But, you know, just observe it and see if it's what you really want. Because you do have somebody... You do have somebody who's going to, um, or for the energy for you guys, is that you're going to be uniting with somebody. You could be reuniting with an ex, but whoever's coming towards you is jealous. Not necessarily jealous of you, but if you are in a relationship with somebody, they could be jealous of the partner that you're with, and then and wishing and hoping it was them. So they could be jealous, and they definitely desire you. So whoever whoever's coming towards you desires you. And the outcome, please, the outcome. And the outcome is going to be the Page of Wands, okay? So with whoever you're dealing with, I can see that they're going to try to do a lot of convincing on their end. That you should be with them, right? They're going to do a lot of convincing and they're going to try to be with you because they really do desire you. And whoever does, when whoever's coming towards you does desire you, but you're already having the Two of Cups energy here. So it's looking like who's coming towards you, you may end up actually uh, coming together with, okay? Sorry, guys, got a phone call. My mom actually called. But anyways, whoever you're dealing with, whoever's coming towards you, they desire you a lot. Um... And they really want something with you. They could be jealous if you're already with a partner or not. But whoever's coming towards you really does desire you guys. And overall, your theme is just to observe. To observe to see if that person who's coming towards you is worth it. Or whoever you're dealing with currently is worth it. It's just keep an observation in your love life. And you know, what I'm the, what I'm intuitively, intuitively kind of picking up off that is like, look, observe who's going to treat you the best. Pisces, I know sometimes you guys settle for less or you settle for what you feel you're worth. You guys are worth everything. You guys are worth the world, okay? So just don't ever settle for less. All right, guys? Don't settle for less. Observe and find out who's the right person for you. What else is going on for Pisces in love in the month of April, please? Pisces in love for the month of April, please. Wow. I have like a million cards jumping out at me. You guys have the hangman in reverse. 
okay? So with the hangman in reverse, you guys are no longer feeling trapped to a certain situation. It could be with a partner you were with or whoever that you're dealing with in love. You may have felt trapped to a situation in the past, but you are now coming out of that. You are no longer feeling trapped. You're no longer in your head. That's really good, Pisces. Actually, what I'm kind of getting here with the Two of Cups energy, you could be dealing with somebody from the past who you felt trapped with in the end, but now you may want to be reuniting with them. I'm sensing an ex kind of coming back in this case, okay? But they desire you, Pisces. They want you. So observe. Be smart, use your intuition, and pick who's going to be the best person for you, okay? What else is going on for Pisces in love, please? Pisces in love, please. And you guys have the Three of Pentacles in reverse. So it looks like the situation's going to be moving forward. It's no longer going to be stagnant. Um, like I said, whoever, I, I, I'm kind of sensing maybe in the past with, with the person you were dealing with, um... You didn't want to really give them a second chance or you didn't really, um, you know, focus too much on them. You could have cut them out in your life and you could have felt trapped by them and you needed a fresh new start and things were put at a halt. But now it looks like things are going to be moving a lot forward and are going to be moving forward with you and this person who you're dealing with. OK, so that's good, Pisces. Looks like an ex is coming back for some of you guys. And even if you don't want the ex, you don't have to get back with the ex. But just observe in your love life and pick whoever's going to be the best person for you. OK. And wow. Sorry, I had a card that fell. All my cards fall out, but I read all the cards that fall out of the deck. Um, well, what you're bearing is, is the Five of Swords. So somebody, in this scenario, it's not the person who's coming towards you. I believe this is the person you're dealing with. Maybe a bit of a manipulator. Um, Pisces, whether that's you manipulating the situation or them, somebody seems like a manipulator. So I think whoever you're currently dealing with is manipulating you in your love life. Or they could have some form of manipulation, whatever it is. Whoever you're dealing with currently, though, could be a manipulator. What else is going on for the person that Pisces is currently dealing with? What else is going on for the person that Pisces is currently dealing with, please? And you guys have the two of wands in reverse. It's not a surprise coming to you. There's going to be something that surprises you about somebody, about this person who you're dealing with, okay? Um, like I said, they could be a manipulator. So what they do, with whoever you're dealing with now currently in your energy field, um, they could end up surprising you, right? You could be surprised about, all, uh, about how they manipulated you. And it kind of looks like almost as if you're not going to give them all the attraction, all the gain, all that stuff. Uh, like you used to, like you never used to give them those second chances or you're, you're, you know, you may have given the person you're currently dealing with a second chance, but now it almost looks like that offer is no longer on the table, okay? Because there's just a lot going on with that person, but whoever's coming towards you is a person who does desire you and they want the two of cups energy with you. They want to reunite with you or you want to reunite with them. So keep that in mind, okay? Um... And yeah, you guys, okay, I get it. So also you guys have the, the four cups energy here too. So whoever's coming towards you or whoever, yeah, whoever's coming towards you and wants this two of cups energy with you, whether you want the two of cups energy with them or they want the two of cups energy with you, there's an offer of love that's being brought to you. There's going to be an offer of love that's going to be brought to you in April, but it's almost as if you're going to tune it out and ignore it. You see the cups right there, the offers right there, but he's not really paying much attention to it, Pisces. So there could be a love offer that's coming to you, right? But you're not paying too much attention to it. And on top of it, this person or you may want to reunite together, but one of you may not just one of you may not be focusing so much on on the uniting uh, aspect of it. Okay, so let's see what spirit advice is going to be for Pisces. We already had observed, but let's see what the outcome is. What's the overall advice for Pisces in this situation with the person that they're dealing with, please? Okay, advice. First card is for the situation with the current person they're dealing with. Second card is for who's coming towards them, please. So for the person you're dealing with, it says change your focus. Okay, you guys have the change your focus card. Whoever you're currently dealing with right now, change your focus. They are not worth your energy at the moment. They are not what you should be focused on. You should be focused on something else. Okay, Pisces. And for the person who's coming towards you, what is spirit's advice for the person who's coming towards Pisces, please? Spirit's advice for the person who's coming towards Pisces, please. Spirit, spirit's advice for the person who's coming towards Pisces, please. Spirit's advice for the person who's coming towards Pisces, please. And your advice is opportunity beckons. So there's going to be an opportunity with this person. There could be an opportunity for marriage. There could be opportunity for love. All right. There is a big opportunity with this person. Like I said, too, there's another opportunity card right here with the, with the four cups energy. There's an opportunity being thrown to you. There's an opportunity. Observe each opportunity you have and maybe you should take it. All right. 
Um, but whoever you're currently dealing with, change your focus. Change your energy because they're not worth your energy. I think it's time to cut that person out that you're currently dealing with because they definitely can be a manipulator and it seems like things aren't really going well in your life. And it's kind of bringing your energy down, Pisces, okay? What's going to be the outcome for the person who comes towards Pisces, please? Outcome for a person who comes towards Pisces, please, in April. One more shuffle, guys. One more shuffle. I'm sorry. Just one more shuffle and we're good to go. And we'll see what's going on. So the advice is, is to seek. Pisces, seek. Seek what you desire, okay? This could mean seek the truth, seek intention. And there's a lot of observing, uh, observing cards. It's almost as like... You guys need to pay a little attention more to the bigger picture. You guys need to pay attention to something. So whoever's coming towards you, though, it's telling you to seek. Seek this opportunity with them. You have opportunity and you have the seek card. The opportunity that arises with you and the person that's coming towards you, seek it. Go through with it. Take that opportunity, Pisces, because they desire you, Pisces. They want you and they want that two of cups energy with you. They want to unite with you and you may want that with them, too. Even though, granted, you may be ignoring the offer that they bring your way, the advice from spirit is, is they're telling you the opportunity is there and they want you to seek it, okay? And with whoever you're dealing with, change your focus because they're not worth your time. They're no longer worth your energy, Pisces, all right? Either way, Pisces, I hope you guys have a wonderful and great day. You guys are an awesome sign. I love you all. Take care, and I'll see you guys in another reading. Later.